A herd of Brachiosaurus moves through the forest, grazing on grass and trees. A Brachiosaurus approaches a tree and consumes its fruits. Suddenly, a peculiar dinosaur emerges from the woods, exhibiting signs of derangement. It darts around, while the Brachiosaurus tries its best to disregard the erratic behavior. The strange dinosaur appears unwell and proceeds to bite the Brachiosaurus's leg. In response, the Brachiosaurus kicks it away, causing it to cough up blood and meet its demise. The Brachiosaurus then proceeds to a nearby pond, but eventually displays symptoms similar to the previous diseased dinosaur. It drinks water from the pond and begins vomiting blood. The other dinosaurs observe it with bloodshot eyes as it descends into madness. The infected Brachiosaurus rampages, trampling the dinosaur's eggs and launching an attack on the herd, resulting in their demise as it emits roaring sounds. One member attempts to flee, but the infected Brachiosaurus catches up and forcefully pushes it against a tree adorned with sharp spikes. Meanwhile, Spear and Fang arrive at the scene and discover the lifeless Brachiosaurus herd. Puzzled by what could have caused their demise, they stand in contemplation, unaware that the infected Brachiosaurus lurks behind them. It let out a ferocious roar, prompting Spear and Fang to flee into the depths of the woods. The infected dinosaur gives chase, forcefully demolishing any trees that obstruct its path. In a swift maneuver, Spear leaps onto Fang's back, and she sprints with all her might. The infected Brachiosaurus pursues them relentlessly until they find themselves sliding down a hill. Spear and Fang make a hasty escape, running towards the safety of a nearby cave. As night falls, Spear succumbs to a nightmarish vision wherein he and Fang fall prey to the infected Brachiosaurus's assault. In the haunting dream, his skin deteriorates upon being bitten, and Fang appears to melt away. Awaking abruptly, Spear glances out from the cliff and spots the infected dinosaur lying on the ground, with Fang standing beside it. Determined to leave the confines of the cave, Spear convinces Fang to join him. Together, they cautiously descend along the path adjacent to the hill. As they quietly pass by the infected dinosaur, they notice its wart-covered skin. However, as they attempt to distance themselves, the creature suddenly springs to life and launches an attack. Fleeing for their lives... The pursuit ensues, with Spear unfortunately being struck by falling rocks. Nonetheless, he persists in running alongside Fang, narrowly evading the infected dinosaur, as it becomes trapped between two walls. Observing its futile struggle to break free, Spear and Fang seize the opportunity to move on, continuing their journey. Eventually, they arrive at a field of erupting lava geysers. A splash of lava makes contact with Spear. The infected dinosaur breaks free, and hastens toward the lava geyser field. As the ground shatters, the infected dinosaur plummets into the molten lava, while Spear and Fang hurriedly make their escape. They inadvertently land on the dinosaur's body, only to discover that it is still alive. Fang acts swiftly, rescuing Spear from the brink of falling into a deep crevice. Together, they manage to leave the perilous geyser field behind. The infected dinosaur succumbs to the consuming flames, its body slowly burning as Spear and Fang observe from a safe distance. Spear and Fang navigate through the woods, guided by an enigmatic green light. Spear's attention is drawn to a peculiar symbol etched on a rock. Suddenly, their gaze fixates on a bizarre tribe in the midst of a ritual. The tribe has restrained a man, suspending him above a blazing green fire. A pterodactyl swoops down and lands on a nearby hill, carrying a humanoid creature on its back. The creature hovers above the ground before approaching the captive man. It undergoes a transformation, sprouting horns and a green snake emerging from its eye. The snake slithers into the man's mouth, causing the tattoos on his body to shift towards his abdomen. As the snake exits the man's mouth, he rapidly ages and succumbs to death. The snake then enters the creature's mouth, transforming into a baby. The creature retrieves the baby and hands it to a woman. At that moment, the pterodactyl catches sight of Spear and Fang, and the creature employs its gaze to lock onto them. It issues a command to the tribe, instructing them to give chase. Spear and Fang flee desperately, but they become separated in the chaotic pursuit. One of the women from the tribe, wielding peculiar abilities, employs them to subdue Fang, bringing her under her control. Meanwhile, Spear frantically tries to evade capture. Using Fang as a tool, the woman ensnares Spear and binds him to a rock. The following morning, Spear awakens to witness the woman passing by with Fang. Overcome with frustration, he shouts at her, and the enchantment gradually begins to weaken its hold. 
The woman, determined to regain control, makes another attempt to cast the spell on Fang, but she witnesses Fang's resistance. In a desperate move, she opens a portal into Fang's mind, where she witnesses the hatching of Fang's offspring and observes Spear aiding Fang in defending them. However, her heart sinks as she sees the horned dinosaur devouring Fang's babies. Stepping out of the portal, the woman embraces Fang, her emotions weighing heavy upon her. She then decides to delve into Spear's mind, where she witnesses his joyful moments raising his own newborn child, only to be devastated as they meet the same tragic fate as Fang's offspring, falling victim to the very same dinosaurs. With a heavy heart, the woman emerges from Spear's mind and reinforces the spell upon him. Gazing upon Spear with a sorrowful expression, she departs for her home. While there, she comes across a drawing of her own child and recollects the memory of receiving the child from a mysterious entity. Playing with the child, they stroll through a field of vibrant flowers. The child wanders off, and the woman soon discovers their lifeless body at the bottom of a cliff. Another woman arrives at her home, presenting her with a bowl of the green paint used in the ritual. Mounted on Fang's back, the woman approaches Spear, who roars in defiance. Undeterred, she quickly sketches the symbols and hastily retreats upon seeing a butterfly alight upon Spear. That night, the strange being arrives on the pterodactyl, advancing toward Spear. The woman ascends the hill and uses a spear to slay the pterodactyl. Fang emerges and launches an attack on the being. As Fang frees Spear, the being transforms into a wolf and fights Spear. In response, the woman transforms into a hawk, joining the fray. Fang positions herself protectively in front of Spear, carrying him as they make their escape. As the being bites the woman's hand and hurls her to the ground, its growls fill the air. Tragically, it kills the woman, severing the connection that had held Fang under its control. In the afterlife, the woman is joyfully reunited with her daughter, finding solace in their embrace. A saber-toothed tiger prowls through the forest, unaware of the impending danger lurking in the shadows. Suddenly, the strange creature within the shadows lunges at the tiger, initiating a fierce battle. Spear and Fang, sitting by their fire, hear the unsettling sounds echoing through the night. The following morning, they venture into the depths of the forest, where they stumble upon the lifeless body of the saber-toothed tiger, evidence of the deadly encounter that had taken place. Fang unleashes a mighty roar as he sniffs the lifeless body, and together, Spear and Fang press onward. They continue their arduous journey, their steps steadily carrying them forward as the sun slowly descends below the horizon. Nightfall descends, and a herd of Ceratopsians traverses the woods, unknowingly becoming prey to the enigmatic monster. The monster mercilessly strikes down several Ceratopsians as they desperately attempt to flee. Startled by the commotion, Spear hears the tumultuous noise and instinctively grabs his spear ready to intervene. However, Fang intervenes, emitting a resounding roar as if to forbid Spear from interfering. Fang staunchly refuses to allow Spear to engage in the perilous battle. They settle down by the crackling fire, their senses attuned to the haunting screeches and mournful wails echoing through the surrounding wilderness. With the break of dawn, Spear and Fang catch an unfamiliar sound as they rest near a stream, bracing themselves for potential conflict they prepare for a fight, only to encounter a small dinosaur. Fang chases it away, swiftly dispelling the immediate threat. Perched atop a tree, Spear gains a vantage point to survey the aftermath of the incident. Overwhelmed with regret for not intervening, Spear carries a heavy burden as they resume their journey. The unwavering winds now assault them, forcing them to seek refuge behind a sturdy rock, shielded from the relentless gusts. Suddenly, a piercing screech pierces through the air, capturing their attention. Puzzled by its source, they huddle together by the fading fire, their weariness lulling them to sleep. Abruptly, they are startled awake by the resounding screech, instantly alert and prepared for battle. Spear's brow glistens with sweat, and Fang's heart races within her chest. As the creature draws near, they swiftly take flight, evading its attacks and fleeing through the engulfing mist. Determined and prepared for a showdown, the mysterious creature relentlessly pursues Spear, crashing through the dense fog, toppling trees in its wake. Fang, initially still, suddenly springs into action, attacking the creature and inflicting injuries upon it. 
Spear and Fang roar in unison, emboldened by their determination to fight back. The creature emits an agonizing shriek, seizing the opportunity. The creature lunges towards Spear, only to be met with a swing of his weapon that inadvertently creates a spark, causing the creature to recoil in fear and retreat. Spear and Fang come to a realization. The creature harbors a deep aversion to light. Armed with this newfound knowledge, they strategize to harness the power of light in their ongoing battle. As the sun begins to set, Spear and Fang give chase to the creature, setting ablaze several trees in their path. They cunningly encircle the creature within a ring of fire, trapping it within its fiery confines. Spear hurls his spear towards the creature, causing it to burn and meet its demise. Spear and Fang stand amidst the waters, catching fish for sustenance. Fang successfully snags a colossal fish, while Spear tosses back a smaller catch. Eager to secure more food, Spear attempts to catch additional fish, only to witness them swiftly swim away. In a surprising turn of events, a peculiar woman emerges from the surroundings, accompanied by the sudden appearance of a Leopluridon, which snatches Fang and drags her into the water. Reacting swiftly, Spear rushes to Fang's aid, fighting off the threatening creature and ultimately vanquishing it. Emerging from the water, he fervently pursues the woman through the dense woods, eventually reaching her and taking a seat in front of her. Fang, still filled with hostility, roars at the woman, prompting her to flee. Determined, Spear and Fang continue their pursuit until finally catching up to her. Sensing the need for peace, Spear intervenes, restraining Fang from growling further. They all settle on the ground with Spear kindling a fire, providing warmth for the woman. Despite Fang's lingering growls, Spear manages to calm her, leaning against her as they gradually drift into a peaceful slumber. That evening, under the moon's gentle glow, the woman engages in a peculiar prayer, capturing Spear's silent observation. As they awaken the following morning, their journey continues with the woman trailing behind them. Unaware of Fang's presence, she accidentally collides with the formidable creature, prompting Fang to unleash a resounding roar. A colossal insect flutters around the woman, only to meet its demise as Fang swiftly devours it. As they come across a catch, they consume the animal's raw flesh. Meanwhile, the woman scours the surroundings, gathering ingredients for their meal. Employing a turtle shell as a cooking vessel, she prepares the food. Offering a portion to Spear, the woman's intentions are thwarted as Fang intercepts and consumes it before scampering away. Undeterred, she offers Spear another piece, but he dismisses it, discarding it without much interest. As night falls, the woman proceeds with her enigmatic prayer, captivating Spear's attention. With the sunrise, Spear observes the woman struggling against a restraining device around her neck. He takes action, pulling her towards him, and Fang swiftly intervenes, biting off the restraint. Utilizing a rock, Spear frees her from the shackles binding her hands. Gazing at the radiant sun, a smile graces the woman's face. She turns her gaze towards Spear and introduces herself as Mira. However, Spear chooses to walk away, leaving Mira behind. In their hunt for a large animal, Spear's shot misses its mark. But to their astonishment, Mira skillfully employs an arrow to bring down the prey. They proceed to roast the animal. Mira attempts to communicate with Spear. However, he struggles to understand her words, leading Mira to resort to drawing symbols in the sand with a stick. Through her native language, Mira vividly depicts the harrowing tale of her people being attacked and enslaved. She illustrates the presence of a sinister figure adorned with horns and depicts her own escape. Continuing their journey, they encounter a rocky obstacle that instills fear in Fang, who refuses to climb. Unfazed, Mira ventures into the woods and collects various insects, using them as bait to coax Fang into conquering the treacherous rocks. That night, Spear draws the moon on the sandy ground, and as fatigue takes over, Mira lies down and falls into a deep slumber. With the break of dawn, Spear and Fang awaken to find themselves surrounded by a group of ape-like beings. The creatures abduct Mira, prompting Spear and Fang to give chase. Spear arms himself with a makeshift hammer, and they discover several lifeless ape-men felled by arrows. Following Mira's anguished screams, they rush towards the shoreline and witness a ship bearing the same symbol found on Mira's head as it sails away. 
Spear stands in disbelief, calling out Mira's name while Fang unleashes a roar of frustration. Thank you so much for watching. The second part has concluded, and the third part will follow shortly. Don't forget to check out our other videos and consider subscribing. Also, remember to tap the bell icon to receive notifications about our latest uploads. We look forward to seeing you next time.